Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. I do a lot of testing with the hydraulic ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. In this video, I'm going to be testing out what happens if you run two same sized ram pumps in parallel with a single delivery pipe going up the hill. So let me uh, bring you off the tripod and show you the setup that I have and we'll get this test underway. Normally the ram pump would be in a creek or small river, but in this case I have a bucket with a float valve and there are two half inch drive pipes. One's coming straight off right here and the other one's coming off a little bit on the side, but it should be just fine. So we've got two half inch drive pipes that come down here to two half inch ram pumps. So they've got uh, these half inch valves with the inline pressure tanks and here is the delivery which I have connected to a single garden hose. So we'll be able to close off one delivery here and test out what kind of flow rate we get at the top with a single and then we will open up the second and see what kind of flow rate we have up there and just see if it's exactly double or if it's more. The delivery pipe is going to circle around as a garden hose and go up the hill and that is somewhere around 28 feet above the two pumps. Normally with the ram pump, I would have to fill the delivery pipe by pressing down the waste valve and allowing the water to slowly fill up that delivery pipe and it can take quite a while. So in this case, I'm going to just use house water from the well to fill from the top and then we'll be able to start this test a lot quicker. Okay, hopefully filling this with the hose is going to be much quicker. <laughs> so there's one issue you have when trying to fill from the top. All the air pressure below is just spitting the water back out. <laughs> Let's see how close we are to getting this pipe filled up. I wound up having to press the valves manually down here to fill the delivery pipe because all the water I put in up top had air behind it and it just squirted out and made it uh, as if I had not done anything up there. So it was easier just to push the valves down here and fill the pipe from the bottom. So the test is going to be like this. We're going to turn off this side over here and only concentrate on this one pump and we're gonna go up to the top and use a measuring cup to see how much water we have in one minute. We'll come back down here, turn on the second pump, and then we'll do the test again to see how much water we have in one minute. I'm anticipating the uh, flow rate to increase. I don't really think that the height will increase, but I don't really have uh, much more hill to test with, so we'll have to do that later to see if adding more pumps in parallel does actually increase the height. But anyway, let's walk up top and see how much water we have in a minute coming out of one pump. Here's the flow rate at about 29 feet with only one pump running. I've got a stopwatch. Let's go ahead and get the cups per minute. And there is one minute, and we have slightly over two cups, which is uh, 500 milliliters. Now let's run the exact same test, but this time using the second pump. So get that opened up. Everything seems to be working just fine there. Test number two with both ram pumps running for one minute. Okay, there we go, one minute, and we've got three and a half cups, or uh, it's about 850 milliliters. So it almost produced twice the water with this going up here, so very cool. With one pump, we had two cups in one minute. With two pumps, we had three and a half cups per minute. So the output was almost double whenever you added the second pump. 
Now, one reason that it may not have done as well is because of this 90 here on the drive pipe of the second. That may be causing uh, some slowdown and reduction of output. But I think it's pretty safe to say you can expect almost twice the water with twice the pumps. Now, what is a practical application for having these parallel pumps like this? Let's say I've got four foot of drop here down to these pumps and it's lifting, uh, it's about 29 feet, um, not quite. So if you had enough water to get, if you had enough drop to get the water up to that point, but you needed to lift to like 80 feet, you could then store the water up here by using multiple pumps, as long as you had enough water. And then you could run a second, I guess in this case would be a third pump to push the water further up the hill. So um, the half inch pump is going to consume about two gallons per minute. So you would want to have maybe two or three of the inch and a quarter pumps running together in order to have enough water to operate a half inch pump up at the top 24 seven. So anyway, that's just a, a thought. You can use multiple pumps down below to use one pump up top to lift much further. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave a comment down below and uh, maybe we can do a test to see if the height is increased by adding more pumps. I don't think it is, but uh, I've been wrong before. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.